Okay, what's up? Welcome back to the Chill Factor channel. I have been hearing that you guys want more detailed videos as to what's going on. So this is where we are at the front right now. Yeah, it's still kind of messy, guys, but I mean, we'll get that cleaned up. Um, gonna leave the vines and everything. Um, we may or may not repaint or whitewash the actual white boards, uh, but ideally I want those all white. I want to keep them though because they look distressed. And then I'm gonna paint the brick along the bottom black. So that's what I'm thinking about for the front. All right, so this is the, uh, I guess, foyer, foyer, whatever. Uh, obviously it's not set up yet, but we just got it cleaned up a little bit. Uh, this is where we're gonna put our merchandise. Now our merchandise is gonna be t-shirts, uh, horror movie Funko figures, uh, things like that, that you guys have actually seen on the YouTube channel. Um, that's, the screws are gonna be taken out of that and that's actually gonna be our ticket booth window. Uh, this is one of the offices. Whew, air conditioning, that's nice. Um, this is the front office, okay? So it's gonna handle most of operational kind of things. Uh, this right here is gonna be the back office slash concessions. Um, there's, where this mirror is right here, we're actually gonna cut a window and that's actually gonna be the outside of, or inside of the concession stand. And we have some uh, furniture and stuff we're going to move in here for all of that. Alright, so on into what will be the lobby area. Now, the lobby area, like I said, is going to have these chairs. We're going to have a flat screen TV right here uh, showing the menu for the concession stand. And that concession stand window is going to be about right there. We're going to remove this, move that somewhere else. And it, the window's gonna be right there. And I got some fancier lights that we're gonna put up there to replace those. Um, anyways, this will be like the lobby area. I think we have a 70 inch TV that we're gonna put right there if we can mount it and whatnot. It may be too heavy, don't know. We might try it. But uh, it was donated to us for this. Uh, it'd be cool for horror movies and stuff like that. Um, so we gotta fix that. Just level it up, put some cement in it, level it off and it'll be fine. Uh, this is a load that we brought today. These are some of our new spiders. We got three of these. Uh, one of them is actually going to be hooked up to a pneumatic prop that spits. So it's not only going to jump at you, it will literally spit venom on you. So that's going to be fun. There's the other two spiders right there. All right, a lot of tubs, a lot of things. Uh, the two wrapped up desks and stuff in here are actually going to be the concession stand tables in that one office. And of course, we've got the... Uh, bed for wretched and then we've got some uh, old school lockers we found too um this is lumber from the old haunt uh, that's new brick from the new building these are extra lobby chairs we don't really know where we're going to use them but they're in good shape so why not put those to use this was an entire shower stall guys that was left i'm talking with base and everything um plan on using that in the haunt too maybe not this year because i hadn't really planned for it but we'll see Already starting to move in trees that we are gonna uh, de-jewel for the forest section, for the werewolves and all of that stuff. Uh, today we actually did start some walls though, uh, just to kind of get things going. Now notice, I cut my tombstones in half because I don't really want that. And this, these are not gonna be the walls that are gonna be actually all the way through the haunt this year either. Um, I'm gonna start a new method with new walls and everything that are gonna, gonna go in between. But still gonna kind of keep this feeling because I, I love these walls. They they serve great purpose and they're just they're nice and sturdy. Um, so there's some of the trees that we have found for the forest section, graveyard section. Those will need to be moved. This area right here, and I will show you guys a blueprint pretty soon because I've got everything drawn out already. But uh, this will be the school section here. Like I said, you don't get the desk and the lockers already in this spot. That way we don't have to move them later. Uh, this key pile, that this was some of the stuff that was just left in the building. It used to be a cabinet shop, but look at this stuff. I mean, I can use that for so many different things. And the, uh, the extra shelving, the extra cabinets. I mean, so many different things that I can do with this old microwaves, old ovens. We decided to do a whole kitchen section just because we have the stuff to do it now. So we should have a haunted kitchen section as well. Look at all this lumber they left. I mean, wow. 
I don't know how much this would be if you were to buy this outright, but this is a lot of lumber, you guys, for real. Pool table <laughs> that they left behind. All right, so a few more details. Man, it's hot in this building. We should have AC and fans put in here real soon. Uh, that's gonna go underneath the graveyard dirt. We should be around this area. Uh, before that area, though, will be the Supernatural ride. And yes, you heard me right. It will be a Supernatural ride from the show Supernatural on the CW. Um, it will be a completely simulated ride. These chairs are gonna be set up like you would be sitting in the Impala, probably three per row. And then it gives us an extra one in case one gets torn up or something. But we're going to put shaker motors on those. We're going to have a fan blowing in your face. A complete simulation of what it would be like to ride in the Impala on Supernatural. Which will also have a very big crescendo in that room. And I don't want to ruin it for you. You will see later. Uh, this boat is going to go into the swamp. The laser swamp. Uh, honestly, you know, you'll only see like probably the about half of it. But we got the swamp creature with the Geely suit that's going to come out of that. That oven was left here, and we're really we're gonna we're gonna use that in the kitchen section. Why not, right? Um, let's see. So far, guys, that's kind of what I have for today. I will get more detailed with the videos. I have just been so pressed for time that I just have not been able to do so. Um, we do have a carpenter that's going to do the roof repair with the few leaks that we do have. He's actually going to remodel the bathroom. Um, he, and I'll show you guys, it's pretty rough, but he's actually going to remodel the bathroom and uh, fix the roof. And he's also going to put in our concession stand, but see, like, it's just, it's rough in here, guys. It's rough. Like the, they just didn't do a really good job of putting up the platform. It's on a rickety, you know, it's just, it's, it just needs to be redone. I mean, totally functionable. I mean, everything works and he seems to be cleaned up. So, uh. That's kind of what we're looking at, guys. You now stick with us, and uh, you guys are going to see a lot of changes and a lot of updates. Probably with, definitely within the next month. So, you guys stay with us, all right? You know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, we will keep you posted to the best of our abilities, all right? Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later.